everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Turnovers will be a focus in today's game. The Panthers are top 10 in turnover differential, and they'll be up against the Dolphins team looking to avoid a costly mistake. Larry, with a beautiful skyline towering just to the right of us, you get a look inside Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics. Everything was ablaze. Everything was allowed here in Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. going to lose yardage here back to his own 18 that's going to go as a loss of four and it'll be second down okay there's a tone setter first play from scrimmage stuff him in the backfield you know what they were doing last night in the hotel room <laughs> visualizing exactly <laughs> that that's what they were thinking about making that play having leverage lower than the offensive lineman getting into the offensive backfield knocking someone down just what you said setting the tone early for this game Jeez, you are fired up when i see a play like that i can't help it offense needs something here on second down it is second and long again it's williams and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and they're going to face a third down. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. Christian McCaffrey and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40 that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down <laughs> off play action Newton He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And they only need a little bit here. Third down and very short. Here's Newton. He gets away from Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And for how much Cam handles the football, he really doesn't fumble a whole lot, but coughed it up there. And I know that a lot of people seeing that play, they immediately go back to the Super Bowl against Denver and Von Miller knocking it free from Cam. But I think you're exactly right. One of the underrated aspects of his game, he's fundamentally sound when he carries the football. Whether he's in the pocket or actually running it, he usually does a great job of taking care of it. He'll have to shake that one off. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. 
If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. To throw on second down is Tannehill. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So here we go, first and 10 now. They'll run it with Williams. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. First down and goal. The offense knocking on the door. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. On second down, Williams. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall at the four-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. They come up in an offset eye. And it's third down and goal from the four. Running, it's Drake. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. And a loss of three to bring up four. Now I wouldn't be surprised if they go for it. Three points is not ideal. It's not what they want. But it's still only the first half. Take the three points and move on. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. He'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. On second down, here's Newton. 
They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying it is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post round? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Butker now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. second down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. shy of midfield a good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two you know what really fires up offensive linemen when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way on second down here's Tannehill to the right side here the tight end Thomas Tannehill with a hook up to Thomas for a Dolphin first down I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Tannehill on first down. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now a play fake here on first down. A swing pass caught. 
and eventually stopped just shy of the goal line right around the two. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Will Johnson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are in for six. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, and oh, it's blocked. The Panthers get it. A big seam, and he might go all the way. He's at the 40, past the 20, 10, and he's all the way into the end zone. And so much for losing the lead with the two points there. This game's back to even. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be at the end of the day, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. And he's brought down after a good game. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Well, this is the reigning NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Runs like that might get him another award. Yeah, Thunderbolt right out of the gate, huh? How about that? Hitting the defense hard early. And, of course, carrying the momentum from last week into this week's game. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. A gain of three, second down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. On second down, McCaffrey dances by him. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. And caught left side, Olsen. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. to McCaffrey and able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense, but I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down is Newton. 
And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, here's Newton. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. And the kick by Elliott is good. And they will take the lead here at 12-9. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, so no problems converting there. So now here come the Dolphins. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. To throw is Tannehill. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Mario Addison. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So after the sack of Tannehill, the Dolphins come up here on a third and long. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Trying to lay one up deep. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful.
tackle. Fourth down now. Here's Matt Dar now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. And on to the field. Here come the Panthers. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Throwing is Newton. That's Samuel, caught left side. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they can do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. the interception. Here's Tannehill. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. The Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And what into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Darrell Warland. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. The 40, 20, 10. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for Panther touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. <laughs> what? That means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They begin the drive with Williams. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And 
And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final shot here before the break, Tannehill. He sets to fire deep. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. It's the rookie from Alabama, Eddie Jackson, with a pick. And some room to work. He's got daylight. The 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Now, that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Larry, go back to the green room, my friend. These guys are ready to go again. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. <laughs> And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A big play there for the Panthers. 56 yards on the ground. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And a short gain here down to the 22. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Second down, nine yards to go. the football it's out but fortunately he's able to recover his own fumble or that could have been trouble he'll wind up getting three on the keeper there but it leads to a third down in need of a conversion on third down they had the big play to start the drive not much sense after the run Newton gonna throw hard throw incomplete I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And Elliott puts this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So he splits the uprights there, and I would imagine it's nice as a kicker. Right when it leaves your foot, you know it's good. Yeah, it's kind of like a golfer that picks up his tee after a nice drive without even watching it land. Solid analogy. I like it. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. It's Tannehill off the bootleg. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there, a 22.
Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. No gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact, able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Here's Matt Dar now, as he's on to punt for Miami. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. Carolina getting sealed. There have been no struggles here for this crew. I mean, they were up double digits at halftime, and they've just expanded that here in the second half. And it appears there are no answers from the defensive side. I think right now, if I'm the coordinator, if I'm down on the field, if I'm wearing a hat, I've already thrown it. If it's a visor, it's sailed, right? My game plan is down by my feet right now because nothing I've drawn up appears to be working. Well, he's going to have to find something right now to stop this offense. Cameron Wake makes plays like that look simple because I think he plays with excellent leverage really does a nice job of being lower than the offensive guys trying to block him and gets underneath them and goes up and down the line of scrimmage to make those types of plays. He kept them to a short run play there. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way up to the 49. A big play there for Carolina. 42 yards on the ground. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Newton. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit right at the 45. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. This is McCaffrey, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. The Panthers on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now it's Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. 
And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second down following the run. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill sliding out of the pocket. The Fasano here brings it in. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now Williams, and he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. The Dolphins on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third down and 12. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And it's caught by Parker. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Tannehill, he's going to loft one deep left side here. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jarvis Landry, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they'll have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. All right, I don't want to get too poetic here where they talk about, you know, the eyes being the windows of the soul. You know what else the eyes do? They see the open spaces on a field, and those eyes carry your legs to those spots, and that's what happened on that play. He saw a spot that opening and went and got it. Well, he really hasn't ran the ball all game. Fourth quarter here, need a big play, able to pick it up. So whatever the eyes saw and created, it worked. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. You got him. You got him. Uh -huh. The play clock's running down. On the ground, McCaffrey. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. 
Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Here's Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you've got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. They'll run it now out of the gun. Room here to run. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Butker now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. On first down, Tannehill. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. K1 short. Coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. On second down, here's Tannehill. Flushed out right. And he's got some space here. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On first down, it's Tannehill. His throw's going to be incomplete. Trying to get it to Landry there, and it's second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there, hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call. You know, in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage, that would be a big play. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. From the red zone now, Tannehill. Forced out to his left. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Tannehill. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And the Panthers are going to recover here, and that should be enough to get them the victory. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. scoring there's no doubt about that in this one Charles points they were not at a premium they were pretty easy to come by <laughs> they were but it was fun wasn't it because both teams finding ways to click and you know people who love this game they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in so for Carolina the great run they've been on continues as they Know your place, yeah, know your place, yeah. I got like, I got like, like right now, I'm impatient. I got women on the cell trying to get. 